What is up YouTube, DTube, Steam Blockchain? So today I want to do a quick, quick little video here. Uh, size comparison. It was a long time ago I did a video like this. So this is my Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. And this is my Samsung Galaxy S2. So you probably know, if you, at least on my YouTube channel, that I've been talking about smartphones and reviewing them for around 10 years and um, lately I've been mainly more focusing in to do vlogs but because phones are getting so good these days but I wanted to do a quick little video here uh, doing a quick side-by-side -side look because it's kind of fun to see uh, how phones have kind of evolved during the last uh, kind of couple of years so you can see a big thing here is obviously with the S20 Ultra, how much bigger phones are now. I mean, this one, if I hold it in my hand, this this Galaxy S20 Ultra is huge, but it feels amazing. Uh, it feels like um, it feels like a glass slim iPhone 3GS perhaps, and I mean it just. It is a very very nice job from Samsung, especially with this uh, <laughs> this camera up here. That is the best camera that you can get currently in a smartphone. I mean, it is. You have this hundred x kind of zoom feature, and I mean the camera is amazing. Uh, you should really really try it out. And it, <clears throat> in terms of design, it's pretty cool because Samsung. Uh, with the Galaxy S2 when they launched it they also had a very very cool kind of design on it so if you can see it here this 8 megapixel camera on this one it kind of had this nice kind of design that it could kind of stood out a little bit from from uh, from the back uh, and it had this like nice kind of feeling here and you kind of get the same kind of feeling over here with the S20 Ultra, even though this one stands out a little bit more, and obviously it is like way bigger. This one has a 4.3 inch display, and you can see it on the front side over here. 4.3 inch, which was kind of big back then. What was it, 2011? And this one has a uh, 5. Point, is it 5.8 or 5.9 inch? I mean, no, is it 6.3 inch or 6.2 inch? I don't even recall how big this the display is on this phone. Uh, but I know that it's huge, but it doesn't feel that big. Uh, it feels kind of nice because they mainly have increased the width of the device uh, or increased the length, uh, how tall it is, but they haven't increased so much the thickness on it. So that's kind of interesting. Obviously, you can see that on my, let's see if I can, does it want to, no, it doesn't want to capture it, uh, but you can see that on this old school device, you had a real hardware button over here, something that you do not get on this device, uh, where it's like, no, you don't have that at all. Uh, both, of course, runs Android, but this is like an earlier version of Android, of course, while this one is a little bit more, maybe a little bit more stylish. You have a little bit more toggles in here. If I go into settings, and I go down, let's see here, if I go down to about device, this one is running Android 4.1.2 and this Galaxy S20 Ultra, it is, if we go to software version, it is basically running Android 10 with one UI 2.1. And one very, very cool thing is if we go into uh, the, display the display section, you have these very very cool things with the new S20 Ultra how this display is capable of motion smoothness so you can go to high refresh rate 120 Hertz but it's going to be a little bit lower resolution uh, something that you do not get of course uh, with this uh, display on the uh, Galaxy S2 but this display is still also very good the AMOLED display that you do get on uh, the, uh, the Galaxy S2 Samsung still uh, back then 2011 had very very good kind of displays if you want to change this over here you have to go to screen resolution and you have to lower this down here if I go down there and do that and then I go to smoothness I can now go to refresh rate 
120 hertz and that is like super buttery smooth now me personally i don't really care that much like sometimes I, I love to have the like the super buttery smoothness sometimes i love to have a little bit higher resolution display uh but yeah i mean this is my best phone so far the front facing camera also is just so good these days samsung didn't used to have that i mean this one for example very very bad this bad front facing camera so the samsung only started to have good kind of front facing cameras on the s uh, Galaxy S10 and uh, Galaxy S20, the front facing camera, like 4K, super, super high resolution, super, super nice. Uh, but yeah, a quick little side by side look here that I wanted to do just because it's kind of fun to, <laughs> it's kind of fun to see how phones are kind of evolving. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching this video. Have a great day, DTube and Steam Blockchain.